Hey, what's going on, people? It's SGZ here from the Spartan Game Zone, and in this video, I'll be letting you know how you can get infinite crystals and legendaries from the Chaos Chamber in Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. This is something you can do on all platforms, and you can use this method to get an endless amount of gear with absolutely no limits, except, well, maybe a power cut. I will let you know how you can get this started and explain the things you can do to make it even better. If this video helped you out, I'd appreciate you helping me out by dropping a like. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to, or you could even follow me on Twitter and let's crack into it. So this farm is not something you can do every Chaos Chamber run, but it's something you should be looking out for every time you dive in. You need a little bit of luck to get started, but once you have it, you can rinse and repeat to your heart's content. The key here is in the final boss, and you'll want Zomboss to be it. The reason for that is because they're the only boss in the game that respawns after you've killed them. All you need to do after defeating them is down yourself, and you'll be able to drop back in and witness the Zomboss resurrection, which you can repeat over and over again. Once you've defeated them the first time, all subsequent deaths don't count towards the 3 life limit, so you don't need to worry about dying as long as you get the first one out of the way, and because each death occurs in the Chaos Chamber, there's no death penalty, so your gold is safe. Out of all the possible bosses, Zomboss is one of the easiest, and with any decent build, you should be able to complete each run between 1 and 3 minutes, depending on where you lie on the Chaos Spectrum, and some of you fully specced up will be able to do this in a fraction of that time, netting you an insane amount of crystals incredibly quickly. It's not just Zomboss that drops crystals either, the skeletons she summons in will too, and you can boost the amount of crystals you get by applying some curses to yourself in the rounds leading up to it. Easy curses net you 30% more crystals per curse, medium curses net you 60% more, and hard curses net you a total of 120% more, with each curse increasing the chance of enemies dropping crystals by 25%. So if you want to make this farm even better, consider grabbing some curses on your way through, and hoping Zomboss will be the final boss. Going into this, I grabbed the Rogue Light Curse, which makes you insta-die on death, so avoid that one, and this farm will be a lot easier. What's great about doing this farm inside the Chaos Chamber is all about those crystals. Once you're done farming Zomboss, you can head out through the portal and feed them to the Bath Bunnies. It's essentially a two-phased farm, where you're not just getting legendaries from Zomboss herself, but you're getting crystals too, which you can then turn into even more loot. I managed to net myself over 10,000 crystals in the short time I spent farming it, and I also received 700,000 gold too. It's also great for boosting levels if you're not capped yet, and increasing those myth ranks. It's easily the best farm in the game that you should be on the lookout for every time you enter the Chaos Chamber. So that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and learned how to get infinite crystals and legendaries from the Chaos Chamber. If you did, consider dropping a like or subscribing, and I'll catch you in the next one.